your weekly astrology and this week we have Venus, the planet of love, earthing our passion and our romance and some lovely, doing some lovely Venusian things. But we also have Saturn, the lord of seriousness, clashing with the sun. So there may be a few ego issues. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Pisces, lovely Pisces. This week you have the opportunity to feel pleasure and to have excitement and to feel the love of the universe. But there are a few things that you have to traverse through. Is that the right word? I'm at the end of me 12 now. My words are going. But you have the opportunity anyway to adventure and go forward and experience something. But also you have to be sensible, particularly when it comes to your career. But let me start at the beginning. Venus is trying Saturn recently hopefully or at the moment you're feeling that you want to sort things out in your life you want to change your routines or perhaps you've already changed your routines and the universe is starting to reward you with that maybe you're starting to feel more energized you're starting to feel um, clearer in your mind and you're starting to feel that your relationships your personal intimate and sexual relationships have become more balanced and healthy in some way or perhaps you're working out with a partner or falling in love with your fitness instructor, whatever it is, you're feeling that you are in the zone and you should have a lot more energy and a lot more clarity. With this trying to Saturn, you're able to ground that and you're turning your attention to your career and you're thinking, right, now it's my career and work. I want to change my routines. I want to get make sure everything is solidly lined up. I want to get my ducks in a row. And you're able to do that and, and Saturn is going great if you do this there are rewards you really will be able to climb up uh, the career ladder whatever that means to you I mean you know it means something different for everyone it may not mean a, a financial job it could be a charity project you're involved in it could be a humanitarian project you're involved in but by being practical you move forward now the sun is square Saturn which is a bit of a pain in the bum because it creates a sense of restriction and our ego is always poked when these two go into that with each other and it may be that you're you know and you're trying very hard sun's in your relationship zone you're feeling confident about your relationships you're trying hard to make your relationships work you're trying to be healthy in your relationships or you want to get healthy so that you can feel free to fall in love whatever it is and then all of a sudden you know there's some responsibility connected to your career or connects to an external responsibility that may be calling, causing friction. Do not panic. Do not overreact. Do not get too emotional. It will pass. Just, you know, yeah, it is time to focus on your career a little bit. But, you know, if you show the love and the compassion and you talk about your feelings, fingers crossed, it should be OK. We also have, thank goodness, Venus sextiling Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. And, um, yeah, Jupiter is bringing you in your into your power maybe five years ago four years ago three years ago you would have been scared to sort of be in a position of power but all this year Jupiter's been helping you and saying you know it's all right it's all right for you to have power you can handle it you have got more survival instinct in you than you realize and I'm going to show you that and that's been a positive thing for you with this venus sex style you are having faith in your decisions you have faith in your decisions when it comes to relationship and again you're making healthier choices good for you i send you a ton of love take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.